so great to be here with you today. Let's come to seated a little bit towards the front of the seat of the chair, or if you're sitting on the ground, you'll be near the front of your cushion. Just so that you have space behind you and you're not leaning on the back of the chair. Let's take a cleansing breath, inhaling through the nose. Exhale with a sigh. And again. We begin our practice by stopping. Diving inward and noticing what it's like to just be here. Allowing your belly to relax. Drawing your inhales down into the belly and filling it like a balloon. As you exhale, at the bottom of your exhale, you can draw the belly button a little bit towards the spine. Contracting the throat slightly so you can hear your breath sounding like the ocean. And then begin to fill your belly on your inhales and the ribs and the chest. And as you exhale, release the chest, then the ribs, then the belly. Let's do a few together. Inhale, filling the belly, ribs, chest. Exhale, releasing the chest, then the ribs, then the belly. Inhale, belly, ribs, chest. Exhale, chest, ribs belly. Take a few of these breaths at your fullest breath capacity just to feel like what 100% feels like. Good. And then soften it so that you have a beautiful, gentle wave of breath, but it's not so deep. It's not so filled with effort. Instead, it should feel smooth. It should feel easy, but conscious. You're aware of it. like a flowing river or waves washing in and out.
Bring the palms together at the heart. Setting an intention for this practice today. And letting your intentions be heard by lifting them up as if they exist in your hands and opening the hands, setting them free. Bringing the hands to the thighs circling the belly to the left. Keeping your breath. Reverse the direction. Inhale your spine to center. Exhale, rounding your back, tucking the chin. Inhale, extend your heart and your belly forward as the shoulders glide down the back. Exhale, rounding. Keep going at your own pace, flexing the spine. The next time that you inhale, reaching the heart forward, bend the elbows out to the sides and let's exhale out through the mouth, sticking the tongue out, lion's breath. One more. Inhale, gazing up. Exhale, fold your belly down over the thighs. Beginning to fold, you can sweep the hands all the way down to the feet, hanging over the legs like a rag doll. With your head relaxed, you can nod it yes. Shake it no. Maybe even take a few circles with it. Deep in your breath here. spreading through your toes, pressing into the feet. On an inhale, begin to open your arms like wings and rise all the way up. Palms can touch us the top, you can even gaze up. Exhale, arms open wide as you fold. So using the strength of your belly, Press into those feet, inhale, rising up, belly engages as you reach up. 
Gaze up at the top of that inhale. Exhale, opening out and down. One more, good job. Inhale, reaching up. Exhale with a sigh out through the mouth as the arms come forward and down. They might even sweep back. Good, inhale, reach it up. <sighs> Big sigh, let it go. <sighs> <sighs> Last one. On this exhale, just hang out in your forward fold. See if you can send your breath into the low back, into the back of the rib cage. Rolling up one vertebrae at a time. When you get to the top, circle those shoulders. Other way, let's add the elbows. You're probably hearing some crunching, some cracking. That's normal. This will help to release that. Switch the direction again. Ah, oh, reach them back. You can even interlace your hands behind you like you're reaching these elbows and these hands behind you. Let the backs of your, no, let the palms of your hands rest on the back of your head. Little twists, inhale to the left, exhale to the right. This can be slow or it can be fast. Inhale to center. Exhale, let it go. Good, you're all set. We don't need to do anything else. That feels nice. So those of you who are um, practicing yoga at home, remember you can always just practice for five or 10 minutes and it makes such a difference. Um, oftentimes we think that if we're going to practice, we need to set aside a whole hour and that's not true. Let's come into breath of joy. So with this breath, we're inhaling in three segments. Instead of one full inhale, it's one, two, three, and you're full. Like three big sips. And then we exhale with a sigh. So let's do that a couple times. Inhale, one, two, three. One, two, three, one, 
two, three. <sighs> Let's add the arms. Just go like this a little bit. So they come forward and out, forward and out. Little dip. And when you come forward, that's one, out, two, forward again, three, exhale, sigh. One, two, three. <sighs> Inhale, one, two, three. <sighs> one, two, three. One, two, three. One more. Inhale fully, reach it up. Exhale, bend the elbows out to the sides. Palms are wide. Feel that subtle echo of our breath of joy. Keep a flat back, but lean it forward slightly. Notice your belly engaging. Lengthen your spine as you reach the arms out and down. Gently sweep the floor with your fingertips. Inhale, rising all the way out and up. Exhale, draw your right knee into the chest. Inhale, sit a little taller through your spine. Exhale, rolling the ankle. Inhale, roll the ankle the other way. Good, exhale, point the toes, opening the front of the ankle. Inhale, flex the foot, reach it forward, reach the hands forward. Exhale, draw it in, pointing. Inhale, reach it out. Exhale, draw it in. Inhale. Good, exhale, it comes in. And then inhale, let it go as you reach out and up. Exhale, cactus arms. Keep your flat back. As you inhale, lean it forward. Belly button drawing to the spine. Exhale, folding. Inhale, reach it all the way up. Exhale, hug the left knee in. Inhale, sit a little taller. Exhale, rolling the ankle. Inhale, roll it the other way. Exhale, point the toes. Inhale, flex, reach it forward. Exhale, draw it in, pointing. Keep going, there's so much happening here. You're building strength in so many places. You're also massaging the colon as the knee draws in. Let it down, reach it up. Exhale, cactus. Lean it forward. As if you're extending energy from the heart through the fingers, how wide can you make your arms as you fold? Press into the feet, inhale, reach it up. One more time, exhale, right knee comes in. 
Inhale. Let it go, reach it up. Cactus. Other knee. Reach up. Open the feet wide, sink it back into the chair, hands come to the knees, leaning forward. Notice where your body's feeling this. When you're ready, start to bring that torso side to side. And let your movement start to trace the shape of a U. Dipping down through center and then coming up and even gazing to the side. Coordinate your breath with the movement. Let's add the arm. So as you go to the side, your back arm comes forward and to the side with you. Yeah, other side. Pausing in the twist on one side. See if you can start to gaze over the shoulder behind you. Other side. Bring it to center. You might have to inch your toes a little bit forward just so that you maintain balance here. As you begin to fold at center, you can even use the hands to press the knees away a little bit. Good, notice how long your spine is here. You're welcome to stay here with the hands on the knees or you can bring the hands to the floor. This is totally optional. If you'd like, you can try to reach the hands forward as you press into the feet, breathing down into the hips. One more breath. Bring the hands to the knees. Ah, oh, release it up. 
Mm, good job. Let's come to standing. Bringing the chair on your mat, all four legs on the mat, with the seat facing you. You can face your chair. I'm going to face you so that you can see me for the moment. And just stand up nice and tall, shoulders relaxed down the back. Toes are spreading. And notice how the inner arches of your foot, they might collapse a little bit. Can you activate them so that they ever so slightly lift? And this will create a little mula bandha, a little pelvic floor lift. Heart is open. Palms face forward in mountain. Samastitihi, equal standing pose. Finding a secure balance. Keep this posture as you shift your weight towards the toes. Back towards the heels. Over to the right. To the left. Keep going. All four directions. Finding your edges. Each time you do this, you're passing through your center point of balance. The next time that you lean forward towards the toes, find your center point of balance. Come back to your breath. Bringing the palms together at the heart. Gently lifting the corners of the mouth. Inhale, reaching the hands upward. Exhale, folding down to the seat of the chair. Let the palms touch the chair. Inhale, gazing forward, flat back. Exhale, walk your feet back behind you coming into a downward dog with the hands on the chair. Reaching those sitting bones back. Let your head and your heart melt. Let's walk it out, bending one knee and then the other. Gazing forward, begin to draw your heart over your hands in plank pose. On an exhale, sink back into downward dog. Inhale, plank. And this time in plank, if you'd like to come into up dog, you can let your hips sink towards the chair and lift your heart gazing up. Lift. 
little bend in the knees. Exhale, downward dog. Leaning slightly towards your left foot, step your right foot up to the chair. So your toes might end up underneath the, the front of the seat. And lower your back heel. Press into both feet, come up onto your fingertips. Tucking the tailbone and lifting the heart, let the hands lift. All the way up, palms gently touch, warrior one. Again, notice those inner arches of your feet. Are they collapsing or can you gently lift them? Creating more stability and strength in your posture. Greater balance. Let your right arm reach forward over your right leg. Left arm reaches over the back leg. Shoulders glide down the back and gaze over your front fingertips. Nice and easy, begin to rest this front forearm on your front knee, reaching the back arm up and over the head. Beautiful. Use your inhale to come into warrior two. Exhale, straighten your front knee. Inhale, reach your front fingers forward. Bring them down to the seat of the chair. Reach your other arm either up towards the sky or you can bring it to the left hip. When you're ready, bend into that front knee, warrior two. And pinwheel the arms to the chair. Let your back heel come up and step back, downward dog. Inhale, plank. And either exhale into down dog or take an up dog for a moment. Then coming into down dog. Other side, leaning onto the right foot, step your left foot up, lowering your back heel. Tuck the tailbone, come up onto your fingertips. Riding your inhale the rest of the way up, palms touch. See if you can sink and relax into this a little bit, relaxing the legs, shoulders, jaw. Left arm comes forward over the left leg, right arm comes back over the right leg. Shoulders relax. Nice and easy, bringing that front forearm to rest just above the knee. Right arm reaches over the head as if it's extending over the chair. Ride your inhale back into warrior two. Straighten your front knee and reach your front arm forward and down to the chair. Right arm reaches up to the sky or to the right hip. Mm -hmm. 
Bending into the front knee, warrior two, one more time. Pinwheel the hands to the chair. Lifting your back heel, step it back, downward dog. Good job, let the heart go. One last vinyasa, if you like. Inhale into plank. And either exhale into down dog or take an up dog. Eventually releasing in down dog. Five lion's breaths here. Inhale through the nose. Exhale, stick your tongue out. And on this last one, just sigh it out. <sighs> Walk it up. Flat back. Exhale, bowing down. Palms come together, ride your inhale up to the sky. Exhale, passing through the heart and letting the hands release. Coming into breath of joy in this standing position now. So make sure that you're in a spot where if the arms reach out and forward and even back, you're not going to hit your chair or anything else around you. Have your feet be about hip width apart and let your knees be soft. And they can even bounce with this a little bit. Again, let's just practice with the arms. Forward and out. Forward and out. Little bounce. Good. And then it's three inhales. Exhale with a sigh as you fold. Ready? Inhale, one, two, three. <sighs> one, two, three. <sighs> Good, keep going. Ah. <sighs> ah. <sighs> <sighs> Three more powerful inhales, big sigh. Can you really let any emotional goo release? <sighs> Reach, 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 suspend your breath. Exhale, charge your space as you let the arms release out and down. Feel that space around you, your energy field.
Turn your chair the other way so that the seat is facing away. And you're close enough to the chair that your fingers can touch it without needing to bend forward. This is for balance, tree pose. Leaning onto your right foot, bend your left knee out to the side and bring the sole of your left foot to your right ankle. Your toes can even be touching the floor or you can glide it up to the calf. Now lift your pelvic floor, mula bandha, so that your belly is engaged and your spine is lengthening. You can stay here or lift one arm or both. Today, let's make a prism so the fingertips touch, but the palms do not. And you can always have this at the heart. Pick one spot to gaze. This is your third arm holding you up, holding you still. Stay nice and steady as you release the hands to the chair and reach this left foot back. Reach, reach, reach. You might lean forward. Let it go. Spread the toes of the left foot. Bend your right knee out to the side, coming into tree. Stay here or lift one arm or both. You're doing great. Lift the corners of the mouth a little. Keep your same gaze point, find the chair with your hands and reach those right toes back as far as they'll go, maybe even up. Extending through that right leg. Let it down. Ah, one hand over the navel point, one hand over the heart honoring this body. BKS Iyengar has a quote. He says, it is through the body that we realize we are a spark of infinity. It is through the body that we realize we are a spark of infinity. And please notice how you would like to spend Shavasana, either sitting in the chair or lying down on your mat. Come into your resting pose. And we'll do a breath in Shavasana and then we'll rest completely.
Let your body sink and melt here. This pranayama breath is our three-part inhale, but we're going to slow it down. So take a full inhale and exhale. And then inhale one third and pause. Inhale a second third, pause. Inhale a third third, pause. And exhale. Inhale one, pause. Two, pause. Three, pause. Exhale. Inhale one, pause. Two, pause. Three, pause. Exhale. Inhale one, pause. Two, pause. Three, pause. Exhale. Inhale, one, pause. Two, pause. Three, pause. Exhale. Inhale one, two, three. Exhale. Inhale one. Two, three, exhale, let your breath return to normal.
And begin to deepen your breath. Wiggling fingers and toes. And if you're lying on the back today, you can roll over onto your right side and make your way to seated. Rubbing the palms together. And lifting them in front of you. See all 16 of us in a circle. And then place anyone that you'd like to receive this energy today in the center of that circle. You can just be here sending your good energy. If you'd like to join me in Om Shanti Shanti Shanti, peace, peace, peace. Then let's inhale for Om. Uh... Remembering your intentions. Bringing the palms together at the heart. Honoring this oneness that we share. You can continue to see our light throughout your day. Not just yours, but all of ours. Namaste means the light in me bows to the light in you. Namaste. Thank you all for coming today. Big hugs. <laughs>